Hey guys, it's Ramona here again from RamonaRemesat.com, and this is going to be the weekly oracle card reading for the week of July 20th through the 26th. And I'm here on holiday with my family on beautiful Vancouver Island, British Columbia, and I'm in this amazing, amazing old growth forest. And I thought, what better place to do this week's reading? So I'm going to go ahead with the flower therapy because there are just so many gardens and lush flowers everywhere around on this island. So um, we'll go ahead and get started with these cards right here. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. And that one's going to be for the beginning of the week. And let's see, this one's going to be for the middle. And I got one more for the end of the week. Okay. So beginning of the week, Shield yourself, Bougainvillea. And you've probably, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've heard me talk about the um, reason why you'd want to shield yourself. But I'll just read you what it says. It says, invoke protection to bring this situation to a speedy end. So if you're feeling like certain people are draining your energy, situations are draining your energy, environments are draining your energy, it's because it is. It's, you know, taking that away from you. And certain people feel guidance through their feelings. And as a feeler, you are especially susceptible to picking up other people's energy. And it can feel like it's pulling energy from you as well as sending energy to you. So in some cases, you might feel mad or sad for no reason and you can't really explain why. So shielding is a practice that you can do each and every day and you actually do need to do it each and every day because it's not a one-time fix. So the way I do it is I work with Archangel Michael who's the protection angel and I just say, Archangel Michael, I call on you now. Please encircle me in the white light of God's love and divine protection. And I do that every morning as I get up and I start my day and I'm brushing my teeth and I'm washing my face and I'm doing my hygiene practice. I do my shielding because it is a form of hygiene. So especially on Monday and Tuesday, if people are, you know, sucking your energy, like I said, or you feel upset or angry or something is going on that you feel doesn't really belong to you, you can use this to help remove that energy from you. Okay. And as well, getting outside into nature like this is another great way that kind of just removes that energy from, you know, sitting among the trees, touching the branch, you know, touching the tree trunks, it also grounds you, it centers you, and it and it is helpful on so many levels. So you can think about that as the week begins. And then in the middle of the week, the big red rose, open your heart. And it's saying, uh, your potential for greater love rests in opening your heart. Blockages and wounds from your past will be healed, and you'll be met with true passion you seek. So some of you might be feeling stuck blocked, not sure how to move forward, or you're kind of trying all the things that you know how to do to move forward and you still feel like you're getting nowhere. So partly what that can be from is holding on to unresolved emotional feelings. So doing some inner emotional work, like forgiveness work, can really help to remove those blocks. And that's part of, you know, opening your heart. And when I say forgiveness, again, it's not forgiving the person and saying what they did to you is okay. Um, or rather, it's separating the person from their actions. So, you know, what they did isn't okay, but you want to forgive the person. And when you can wrap your head around that, sometimes it makes the idea of forgiveness a little bit easier to swallow. So, taking some time to think of all the people that maybe have upset you, and saying in your mind, you know, I release you and I forgive you, and I hold no unforgiveness back, so that you are free and I am free, and that way you can carry on and not feel those blockages that are stopping you from moving forward. And then at the end of the week, we have the Agapanthus flower. That's what it looks like. And it says world energy. And it's saying the earth is going through a transition of energy and your sensitive body is feeling it. And you're not alone except the help of others. So it has been a bumpy ride. June was crazy. A lot of people were calling, emailing me, asking me what was going on because they were feeling very out of sorts, almost like out of their body, sometimes spacey, foggy, they couldn't focus, all kinds of things. So if that's something that you've experienced, um, just know that you're not alone in that. And uh, as the week goes on, if you feel like you need to reach out to others for some assistance, please do so. 
So that's it for this week, and uh, if you can get outside, as I said, it would be a great idea to connect with some of the uh, outside, and have a great time. We'll see you all here next week.